Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Plague Inc. This is John, Nick with me again. Hello. Play, this is, we're playing, this is the, this, no, just heads up, this, this is the Android version of the game, not to be confused with the, uh, the, the uh, PC version that's currently out now, I guess it's like a, in a beta. Oh. Um, this is the original, this is the original uh, Android version, original mobile version. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, the goal of Plague Inc. is to create and evolve your own pathogen with the, with the, end goal of creating a global pandemic that destroys the human race. Cheerful stuff. True game. Yeah. So, you know, people complain about, you know, the body count in, you know, Grand Theft Auto or whatever. This game, you pull it right, you kill, you, you'll kill, you kill billions. I... 7.2, I think. Yeah. I mean, I... I've used the expression history's greatest monster so often it's lost all meaning, but... <laughs> Alright. So we're starting a new game. And I've played this bit before, but not on this one, so... Don't have any of my... Gigaws and... And I don't have these other unlocked yet. You start off... You see, there's different uh, pathogen types. The bacteria, virus, fungus, parasite, prion, nanovirus, and uh, bioweapon. And then if you unlock, those are, t there are two more, like, secret ones you can unlock if you get all those. And they each have their own different uh, traits. So start off with virus. Most common cause of plague. Unlimited potential. Sounds promising. Second game difficulty. We're gonna be playing on normal. On normal? Yeah. Now, you, you, you don't have any of this yet, but you can unlock, like, special gene. If after you succeed it enough, you get unlock various genes that you can then add to gain different advantages. I'm pretty sure we have one. Oh, you, okay. Oh, yeah. Genes discovered. Give your plague a bonus in arid climates. Okay. Nice. Zero file. Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping all, all wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Okay. When the game starts, touch a country to begin your plague. Rich countries with better medicine are harder to infect. Okay, here's the interface. Okay, so here's the interface. Got this map of the world. As you can see here, here we have DNA, which currently zero. That's those are that's basically the in-game resource that you use to modify and mutate your disease and I'll get into what that means in a moment. And here's the cure percentage. This is how close the world is to researching a cure for you. And, and that for a while that'll be zero for a while to start because they don't first they have to become aware of your existence. Now well here you have disease infected world and various stats. I'll show you more of these and what they mean in a little bit. First, we have to pick a a, uh, a country for our patient zero to reside. Do you have a preference, Nick? Um, why don't we start somewhere in Africa? Okay. Because we have that arid Ar bonus. Arid. All right. Let's start somewhere in this desert, West Africa. All right, it's West Africa. Pax 12 begins in West Africa. It's infected its first human. Weak and used to hot temperatures, it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Okay, now every time it enters a new country, you get one of those little uh, biohazard signs. You click, you tap on, you click on that or tap on that, and you uh, get some more DNA, basically. And there'll be other ways to get DNA. And also, it goes up just as you spread. Oop, see, we're too infected now. Oop. And also, see this uh, news crawl up here. Mystery woman donates billions to charity. <laughs> this is kind of one of the kind of more subtly unpleasant because at the, with, at the start of the game it's just random generic news right and right. then as the game goes on it'll be more and more about us hmm. see these little anchors those are uh, ports and those little air and those little airplanes are well airplanes and airports and those are ways you, you can spread 
Spade announces austerity measures. Okay, now let's... We've got 11 DNA. Let's head over to disease. Here's our current stats. We've got three, um... We're rated on three, on three uh, measures. Infectivity, severity, and lethality. Basically, how easily do we spread? How disabling are we to people infected by us? And how quickly and effectively do we kill? As you can see right now, we're not, not, not much to be impressed by, but... Okay, first, transmission method vectors. Now, the way this works is you can be trans transmitted uh, in a variety of different ways. In by insects, and, th and these different ways, they they're, they're, they're more effective in different, depending on climates. So, for instance, insects are more effective in uh, hot climates, right? Rodents are especially effective in urban regions, livestock in uh, rural regions. Blood is, is, makes you especially effective in uh, poor regions. Um, avians makes you more, uh, better, uh, makes you spread across land more effectively, basically, like across national borders. <laughs> Air, um, your ability to ride on dust particles, and especially in arid environments like airplanes. Water, survive in fresh water. Makes you better survive in humid climates or on ships. And with the exception of air and water, all of these also give you an increased chance of mutation, which means your virus randomly developing a new trait without you spending DNA points on it. Okay? <laughs> now, here are symptoms. These are basically, you know, simple enough. You start off with uh, only a couple, and then they, they each one, it, like, branches out. So right now, we can we only choose our nausea, coughing, rash, anemia, cysts, or insomnia. Lovely. And our abilities... Um, bacterial resilience. Creates bacterial shell to protect against all climates. Each, each basic type, bacteria, virus, nanomachines, whatever, they all have at least one, like, sort of specialized trait that's specific for them. And then there's cold resistance, heat resistance, you know, climates, drug resistance. This is, you need this to spread in wealthier countries that have good medical infrastructure. This is your ability to resist antibiotics. Okay, now to start, let's, let's make ourselves more infective. Now, let's go with... Let's, insects are good for hot climates, and we're in roughly okay. equatorial Africa, so let's go with insect. Oh. But, and as you can see, that opened up insect level 2 there. That costs more than we have. Oh, and we can actually, we can afford to get a, uh, a, some of these symptoms. We get nausea, insomnia, cysts, anemia. How about nausea? Okay. Irritated stomach lining That's leads to discomfort. Slight chance of infection when kissing. Involved. Hmm. And you notice Press. infectivity and severity slightly increased. We spread a little bit more easily and we cause slightly more severe symptoms. Lethality is still zero. Now, uh, nausea unlocks the possibility of vomiting. The expulsion of infected material through projectile vomiting increases risk of infection, which we don't have enough points for right now. So let's go back to the map. Ah, you have it successfully evolved. Okay. All right. We're spreading 14 infectees. Now we can run it in two speeds. I'm running it at normal speed. Pop the orange DNA bubbles to get points. They just appear at random, and you hit them, you get more points. It's... It's like I said. Keep in mind, this is a touch. This started as a touchscreen game. Right. So that's the like basic level of interactivity. Forty-one infectees. Miniature black hole. Not a concern, say scientists, because we're all going to die of this horrible pestilence. And <laughs> What constitutes a mini black hole? It's... <laughs> I'm not sure what the, uh... I'm not sure what the precise size cutoff is. Here we go, okay, let's... Let's... I'm gonna get another infection thing. 
we're in a mostly rural area, I think. Like Sahara, near Sahara and Africa. So let's get livestock. Increase infectivity in rural regions. And mutation. Ha. Now, to find out more about a country, press the country name at the bottom of the screen to open the country. Press I on the top to read. Yeah, let's try that. West Africa. Currently here, business as usual. Now, this indicates um, as countries uh, become more and more infected, as the, basically as knowledge of the plague spreads and people get more and more afraid of it, countries can take start taking measures. They can shut down their airports, they can shut down their seaports, or they can even close their land borders. The more infected you are, the more effective you are at like getting around those issues, basically. This shows this particular region's population, its number of infectees, its number of fatalities, the amount of money it's currently contributing towards medical research to stop us. They're just basic, you know, in region information. Poor rural group of countries, hot climate. And these... What's that? Oh no, I just said nice. Okay. And these are the... And this stuff will start to appear here as they take various anti-us measures. For now, that's empty. Because no one knows about us. Or cares about us. Vaccine. Now infected hundred. Did that say... Did this game start on today's date? Yes, it does. Nice. Yeah, it always does. That's one of the Storm Shakira. That's one of those sort of subtly creepy things about the game is that it sets, it starts the present date. <laughs> severe storm strike India. Se okay, severe storm strike in India. World Health Organization Board of Property infra Property and Infrastructure Damage, but expect a rapid rapid cleanup. Different events can cause can like change what's more effective. Like, areas with damaged infrastructure are often more vulnerable to infection. There may be trends like increased bird migration. Uh, National Kissing Day. National Kissing Day, is a th that actually is a thing, I believe. It, you, I, don't, I don't know if there's any more, but at, one, but at one point there was like a special event for like, you know, the, Lon the London Olympics. And if you had an infection there at the right time, it was... Oh yeah, there was. Oh, vomiting symptom mutated. Pax-12 has mutated and developed a vomiting system without using DNA points. That's handy. Let's try evolving ourselves some more. Now, one, now there is a potential downside to that, which is that the more traits you have, the more each additional trait costs. So if, sometime, you, if you mutate something you genuinely just don't want, that may actually become a problem if it makes it more expensive to get stuff you do want. But... I'm fine with I'm fine with vomiting. So, you I mean, can the evolve game. it though, right? I What's that? You, get a, you can evolve it and get like a small refund. Yeah, but that doesn't but that doesn't fix the issue of like stuff costs more. I don't believe. Ooh, now diarrhea, pathogen active in digestive tract, causing infection through feces and potentially lethal dehydration. Poor countries very vulnerable. Pulmonary edema, potentially fatal heart abnormality, causes breakdown of respiratory system, releasing pathogen into the air. Wonderful. Let's dial up transmission another notch, shall we? <laughs> Air. Nice. Over 5,000 infectees. No deaths yet. Cause, oh. Spreading faster and faster. 7,000. 8,000. 10,000. Over 9,000. Oh. Pack spreads to Algeria. Okay, yeah. Uh, when every time it goes to a new country, we get another new bubble. Gives us some extra points. Nice. And see, we can now we can look at different infections in specific countries or regions, or we can look worldwide. Only got the one guy in Algeria, though. Yep. He's oh, oh two. There you go. Now he puked on somebody, and oh, we got deaths. Except I don't think I caused those. One of the weird things about this is sometimes, like, if deaths happen due to some natural disaster, it gets added to the death... It gets, like, added to the death count. <laughs> Even though it's, like, I, you know, I can't claim credit for it. Ooh, CDC pioneers new anti-malarial strategies. That might be relevant because, you know, we're, we're using, uh... Oh, oh, 
Oh, we're up to half a million infect infectees now. Wow. Did you see the, um... Ages of Wonders? No, the gamers around the world began worshipping the Helix yeah. fossil. But, oh, almost one million! Almost. One million!